Hi there. Today I want to show you how I use the Jetpack Compose nested uh, scrolling to achieve uh, this uh, real world app I was uh, working on. So let me show you what uh, I wanted to achieve. As you can see, this is the, the layout I was uh, working on. We have this glowing background, we have these two uh, side buttons, this card, the scrollable uh, lazy row items, and the blue uh, lazy column with the blue items. What I wanted is to, when the user scrolls up, the card will scroll also, so its size will shrink, and the red items will stick uh, on top, just like that. Exactly. This is the exact behavior that I wanted, and when the user scrolls down, the card will uh, appear again. And uh, I know you will say, okay, this is achievable. You can put uh, both the items, uh, the yellow card and the red items inside the lazy row, and the red items should be a sticky header, and this will work. Uh, let me show you what will happen when we do this, because for this particular use case, it won't work. Okay, so let me show you. So we need to put this side item and put the lazy zero as sticky header there. And yeah, this is the glowing bar, uh, the glow background in case you need it. Uh, I will be pushing this code uh, on GitHub so you will have access to it. So let me show you, let's uh, rerun the app and let's see what will happen. Okay, now when we scroll up, okay, this is what we want, but again, the blue card will show under the red card, and this is not what I want, it doesn't look uh, good, uh, and this is a well-known uh, thing when, with, when dealing with, with the sticky header. What you can do is just uh, add the background, okay, modifier, modifier, that background, white, Use the same background and let's uh, scroll again and as you can see this is what will happen the white background uh, any background here doesn't matter if it's white or any other color will interfere will interfere with this blue background and this is not what i want so let me show you what i did uh, how i got the idea to use the sticky uh, Sorry to use the nested desk Send it. So let's put this back here and this here. Delete this. And let's keep it that way. Okay. And let's test again. Okay. Let's remove the background. Okay. Now, this is the behavior that I wanted. The blue cards are scrolling but not uh, under uh, the red uh, items. Okay, this is what I want. It's working now. But what I need now is to uh, adjust the height of the yellow card. So what uh, we will do now is to use nested scrolling. This is why uh, I use it. So let's, uh, first of all, we need to uh, declare the height of, uh, we need to track the height of the yellow card. As a state, so let's do height. Uh, okay, yellow. Height by under state arc, and initially it will be two hundred pp. Let's change the height here. Yellow card height. Okay. Next, we need uh, to use nested scrolling. We need to define a connection. So let's say connection uh, equal to object dot nested scroll connection. The nested scroll connection have the over. We can override the. We have on post scroll. We have and we have on pre scroll. We will use on pre scroll. Uh, I will. Put, uh, I will write the code to show you the result and explain it to you later what uh, what's happening here in detail. So let me do this. Okay. First, we need to get the data. So 
So it's uh, how much the user scrolled. So when the user do this, we would get here how much the user uh, scrolled. Next, we need to calculate the new height. This that uh, for the yellow card, this data could be positive. So when the user scrolls up, it will be negative. And when the user scrolls down, it would be positive. So next, while the new height equal to the old height uh, plus the delta. But now this will uh, make sure that our uh, card size change with the, the user scroll. Uh, next, we need to save the, uh, I will explain to you later why we need to save the, uh, the, uh, the old height, the old height of the card. Okay, so old height equal to the yellow card height. And next, we need to change to update the state, which is equal to the new height. Uh, and we will uh, put it in a range. For my use case, it would be between 0 dp and 200 dp. What? Why I put here 0 dp is because I want this, uh, the card size to to reach zero so i don't uh, if you want to i don't know keep 50 uh, percent of it you can you, you can use 100 dp but for my use case i don't want it uh, to appear and the maximum size will be 200 dp which is uh, which is the initial size next we need to calculate how much we consumed so it will be the new uh, the yellow card height minus the old height and we need to return uh, the offset return offset for the x f and consume that value uh okay uh here we return the zero because we are not dealing with the with the horizontal scrolling we are dealing just with uh, the vertical scroll here also we have the x in case uh, you want to deal with uh, horizontal scrolling. Next, we need to attach the connection to the parent of the lazy column, not uh, the lazy column, but its parent. So let's put here nested, nested scroll, let's pass the connection. And yeah, that, uh, that's all what we need to do. Let's rerun the app, see the result, and I I will explain to you what's happening here exactly. So let's scroll up. It's working. Let's scroll down and it is working. So to explain this, let's go to the Jetpack uh, Compose documentation for the nested scrolling. So they have a really good example to explain this. So let me show you. Okay, let's scroll down. This one. Okay, when the user scroll, so when this happened, okay, when this happened, uh, there are three life cycle the scrolling uh, go by. We have the pre scroll, the node consumption, and the post scroll. The pre scroll will uh, uh, will get how much the user scrolled, which is the delta. Next, uh, we can use uh, uh, that delta do what uh, need to do and return how much left of that data to the node consumption then the node consumption will pass how much left of that data to the post scroll and the post scroll will use that that delta left to trigger the ui scrolling what i mean by this for example here let's say we have uh, we didn't use any of the data let's say here for example let's comment all of this code and let's here put zero. We didn't consume the delta, it stayed as it is. Okay, so the app will crash, obviously. Uh, this is uh, no problem when uh, dealing with the, with the nested connection, uh, with the nested uh, scroll. So just to run the app, it's, uh, it won't uh, affect, uh, affect uh, this, will, this uh, crashing won't uh, happen uh, in uh, production code. So here we returned zero, which means we didn't use any of the delta. The user will keep scrolling, okay? By the much he scrolled. Uh, let's say we consumed it all. 
TLS pass here, the delta, and let's say that we consumed all the delta and there is no delta left to pass to the post scroll. The post scroll is the function responsible to trigger the UI scroll. So let's say here, and since we consumed it all, as you can see, I cannot scroll anymore. So there is no delta left to trigger the UI scrolling. Uh, and that's it. Uh, I think uh, it's clear. If you want to know more about this, the documentation here really covers it uh, really, really good. There's uh, even more example here for the Delta changes you can implement and see by yourself. Uh, and here, let me finally explain why we need, why we use uh, this uh, con consumed. Let's uh, return the code. And here, let's pass, uh, I don't know, 0F just to keep the user scrolling. Okay. Let's see what will happen. As you can see, the card size is uh, changing, the user is scrolling, everything works uh, normally. But if you notice, uh, when I am scrolling, uh, the blue uh, cards are scrolling, and in, in the same t at the same time, the yellow card height is changing. That's not what I want. I want, I mean, the user to obviously to scroll, but uh, the blue card will start scrolling when the yellow card uh, reach uh, zero. This is why we need to use the consumed dash value dot value. Let's rerun the app and let's see now the behavior that we will get. As you can see, the blue card are not uh, changing, are not scrolling, and the yellow card height is changing when it reaches zero. The scrolling will stop. So uh, I think, uh, I hope I made it uh, clear. Thanks uh, for watching and uh, see you on the next video.